Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2 of my video series where I go over all of the updates from Minecraft from the official release of 1.0 to 1.20 or whatever the latest update is by the time this series is finished. Uh, the one we ended on last episode was 1.7, so I think we're going to get straight into the video. Move on to update 1.8. So this update didn't add a whole lot, but what it did add was pretty important to the game. It added banners, and I'd say that's one of the most important decorative blocks when it comes to building in Minecraft. Um, it also added armor stands, which again is a good way to store armor, but also a very, very good decorative block. It added a bunch of new commands, um, which is again very important to the game. And it added guardians and rabbits. I feel like the most important thing there were the guardians because they're associated with a Minecraft structure. And, um, did I say rabbits already? I can't remember, but yeah, added rabbits. So that's update 1.8 already done. So let's move on to 1.9. This update added, um, well, this is the infamous combat update that a lot of people did in fact hate. It added dual wielding using the offhand, which, you know, people like that. Added spectral arrows, tipped arrows, shields. I think this is the update that added the elytra, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. And um, but it added the timed attack system, which is where basically you have to recall, like you have a cooldown on, uh, like on attacks that you can do, which I feel like a lot of people hated. So you know, but oh well, that's what it is. I feel like it's one of the most hated updates, but the best addition to it is probably dual wielding um and now we are on to update 1.10 this is not uh the most popular one of the more popular minecraft updates it is known as actually i'm not really sure what it's known as but basically i added magma blocks nether wall red nether brick it added the fossil structures, which in my opinion was the second most important feature of the update after adding sprays and husks, which were obviously new Minecraft mobs being added. And um, it added more, but I feel like those are the highlights of the update. Oh, and it added creative mode players to be able to use structure blocks, so I guess that's pretty cool too. Um, but then guys, 1.11 is obviously next. This update was released around the time of 2016, around the time where Minecraft was really dying and it wasn't really a popular game anymore. So, uh, it added things like uh, Illagers, uh, Vindicators, Evokers, Vexes, explore, like Maps, Observers, it added Woodland Mansions, Llamas, Shulker Boxes, Totems. Um, that is literally it. So, now we're already on to 1.12. This update was a very, very good um, update, especially for creative mode users. Because this update is known as the World of Color update. It made all the colors, unlike shulker boxes and wool, more vibrant. It changed the colors quite a bit. And uh, it overall just made them better. It also had changed a new crafting system. It added glazed terracotta, it added hints for beginning players who are only just starting out playing the game, and it added concrete, uh, you can finally change the colour of your bed, and it added parrots and illusioners too. So guys, 1.13 it is, let's go to the aquatic update, the update that ended Legacy Edition. So guys, the features that were added in 1.13 were new, a lot of new blocks such as coral, conduits, I think I'm saying that right, or is it conduit, condu I, I don't know how to pronounce that, it's going to call it a conduit. I added sea pickles, you can now take the bark off, uh, bu bark off of logs, um, you, and turtle eggs exist now, kelp exists, blue ice exists, 
and um, bucket of fish, the debug stick was added, the heart of the sea was added, tridents were added, phantom membranes were added, grounds were added, and so much more were added in this update. One very big thing was taken away from us. Updates to Legacy Console Edition. This is the last update that like Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 got. So if you were like me back then and that the most advanced console you had was an Xbox 360, you had this was your last update on Minecraft. However, it was still a very good update, so on to the next update. This update also known as 1.14, but also known as the Village and Pillage update. Now, I believe this is the update that changed all of Minecraft's textures. Like, if you if you play Minecraft now, you know that that like the designs for the blocks aren't the same as they used to be. That's what I'm talking about here. But um, things they added, they like added different variations of villages to um to like different biomes they added pillagers which is a variation of the illager um and they what else did they add that's literally it apart from i think they added raids and maybe ravagers but i'm pretty sure that is literally it for the village and pillage update so i think we're gonna end the video off here guys um don't forget to like and subscribe for more Minecraft content, and not just Minecraft, but mostly more Minecraft content. Like and subscribe for part 3 of this series, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!